Hi there, I'm Ian Harris and I'm the Chief Executive of the Wine and Spirit Education Trust, that's the WSET. Now we have our systematic approach to tasting which has various terms in it which are in English but some of our students in America might just struggle with some of those terms. So what I thought we'd do is we've got a translator here who's going to help me with, with this to translate some of these terms that some of our American students just might not be familiar with. So. I'm very pleased that the person sitting opposite me here could be quite rightly described as an MVP, so most valuable player. What's up, Ian? How you doing, man? Uh, <laughs> I'm Will Blackman, uh, Super Bowl champion and the owner of the Wine MVP. Uh, after my football career, I decided to explore the world of wine. I currently have my level two of Warner Wines and I'm still studying for my level three. Today, I'm here to help Ian translate some of those tricky British terms. It's great to have you here. Will, is, I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be real fun. Now, let's, uh, let's begin with our first term. Okay. Gooseberry. Gooseberry, okay, that one's a familiar term. Okay, it's a small green furry fruit. It's traditionally grown here in Europe. And so basically it smells like Sauvignon Blanc. So if you smell Sauvignon Blanc, you know what gooseberry smells like. How about <laughs> the next one? Sultana. Sultana. Okay, Sultana, that is a, a little raisin that the British like to bake with. You could find it in fruitcake. Am I right? You are right. Now, here's an easy one for you. Okay. Biscuit. Cookie. Come on now. Cook. You know what, though? It's funny. My grandma, actually, she used to say biscuit herself. She's from New York, so who knows? <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> Cookie. Sounds good. <laughs> right. How about this one? Now, this is, this is a Scottish term. Porridge. Porridge. Okay. Oatmeal. It's a point. I was at the store the other day, and I saw oatmeal and, and porridge next to each other. I grabbed the oatmeal, even though it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about treacle? Treacle. So that is interesting. That is molasses. So if you have molasses, that basically is what treacle is. Marzipan. So catch your own, marzipan, <laughs> that is a, a sweet paste uh, make, made up of honey, sugar, and ground almonds. Bramble fruit. Blackberries. Here's for the last term. Okay. Quince. That is a highly fragrant pear-like fruit. Will, thanks very much. Been a fantastic translator. Absolutely. So what we've been talking about are the terms that are mentioned in our SAT. And you can download our SAT on wctglobal.com. So Will, what does SAT stand for? SAT stands for Systematic Approach to Tasting. Uh, it was created so that we all had like one universal language. We're not saying different things when tasting the wine. Um, and also, SAT is copyrighted by WSET. Also, be sure to download WSET's Tasting Notes app. This app allows you to store structured and consistent tasting notes for wine. Will, that's brilliant. Thank you very, very much for joining us. Certainly for me and for the WSET team. No, listen, I appreciate it. I had to cut <laughs> you off because I have one more translation oh, for no. you. Go on. One more translation. Football. No. No, sorry. Football, guys. Football. Well, cheers, similar. man. They're similar. You're my MVP. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you very much.